Welcome to episode 5 of Creative Minds. In this episode, we talked about work-life balance. Now, usually this podcast is all about interviewing creators. Well, this was a, an episode we did a, a while ago. We can't really change like the order of the episodes now since we kind of see the episode title in it and everything. So this will be like the final episode of just me and MRIs. But in the next episode, it's going to be an interview. So be on the lookout for that. The next interview is going to be with Jakeson or Jake Robinson. It's pretty good, not going to lie. All right, here's the episode. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode five of Creative Minds. I am Master ETH, and welcome to this podcast. We are also here with Emerias. Hello, everybody. I am very excited about today's episode because it's been something that I have been uh, thinking about as a creative for a while now. So today's topic is work-life balance. And this is a very interesting subject because I have a lot to say about this. Especially when you want the dream of YouTube to, you know, become a reality one day. Oh, for real, yeah. You always got to have that goal in mind and always be working towards it, you know? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Even if on some days you don't feel like it, that's that's when you got to push the hardest, you know, when you don't really feel like doing it because, you know, you should do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, especially like, uh, you know, after work and you're tired and after work. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. You just got you just got. Mm-hmm. Find time, mate. I mean, coffee also helps, but that's not important. Well, <laughs> coffee. No, I think I feel like this should be more of like a discussion, not really like bullet points. Yes, I very much agree. So I, I want to quickly touch back when you come home from work, you know, you're tired. Mm-hmm. It's been a long day at work and you come home right, yeah. and it's really one of the only times that you can uh, record. Uh, so, you know, mm-hmm. weekdays, Monday to Fridays, hopefully at least you have, yeah. uh, you know, uh, two or three days off to do the YouTube grind. Coming home after work, you're really gotta be on top of your stuff uh which is something i really struggle with you know whenever i think back to what i've been doing uh currently i'm trying to really get over pushing out videos on time because i I think that'll really help with uh getting views and everything and traction but when i look back at the time i'm like why was this video late i i literally did nothing but work for as much as i can remember you know do you feel like that maybe you're a little too ambitious perhaps yes yes that's that that mm-hmm. too like people have done it you know like it, it's it's possible mm-hmm. so if i just get if i just keep pushing and figure out a way like eventually if i break through it'll be it'll be really helpful especially in the future like learning that skill now if i'm a big tuber and i have actually like very strict deadlines you know i have to make a video to you know meet rent or whatever because like, then you have to be ambitious right. and get you know three or four videos yeah. out a week honestly. so wait so how, how often do you post right now exactly um right now like what's your schedule yeah right now um, uh, I'm really pushing two, but the goal for 2018 really is is three. Uh, if I can really like do you know batch recording, recording multiple things at once, and then stuff like that, that's really the goal for 2018. And I think that's that's gonna be a cool boost to the channel. Dude, I can I can sometimes barely get one video out. I mean, technically, I have been doing two videos a week, but the second video is a podcast, and I don't really count that because I do like most of the editing work like in the audio, and then once it goes to video, it's basically just putting a few pictures up and doing doing some transitions which isn't that difficult that's true i guess i guess it is a lot of uh yeah ambitiousness but it can't be done make one video a week a priority and then get that out in time for sure for sure Mm -hmm. yeah and then just keep moving up from there but if i get this down you know it'll be great (laughs) for the channel growth or or (laughs) here's an idea you you could easily do two videos a week by making the second video like the documentation of the previous video. Yeah, because that I feel like it, in that way that would be an easy way to get two videos out a week. But if you want like two original videos, that's that's a different story. Document versus create. You're right. I don't know if it's like a talking video. It's like look at me. I'm talking to my camera. Mm-hmm. I guess it can be done. Hashtag Wednesday's video. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, boy. Yeah. And then, okay, so on top of that, uh, on top of, you know, I guess being too ambitious, this is where work-life balance comes mm-hmm. in because, you know, okay, YouTube has to, you know, somehow take priority over hanging out with friends all mm-hmm. the time and you see all your friends on, on Snapchat, you know, on Instagram doing all these, these cool things, people, you know, enjoying their summers, you know, going on vacations and stuff like this, going to the beach and I'm like, I want to do that. And, but then to mm-hmm. myself, I think, you know what? In 10 years, though. Exactly. 
Exactly. They'll be saying that about me and they'll be having to work that crappy, you know, life for, you know, a long time. A little bit of a tangent here, if you don't mind. <laughs> but then in 10 years, when they're saying that about me, I don't know, they have kids, they are married. It's not practical to go hard on YouTube. Like I can't do now. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get so, that. Yeah. So yeah. going back to work-life balance, how do you find time for friends, mates? Cause I know more recently I've been hanging out with friends more so, but at the same time, I haven't been hanging out with them like at all Mm -hmm. because i'm so busy with work and youtube the last time i hung out with my friends was like either last week or two weeks ago i didn't say like yes to hanging out with them until i knew for sure that i was ahead on schedule with videos Mm -hmm. so like if i was busy making videos obviously i would say no but like if i was already like ahead Mm -hmm. then i would be more open to it you know yeah that makes because i don't think shutting yourself out from your friends like indefinitely is very smart at all yeah i mean we need other humans in our lives and we need human interaction you're right plus it's just it's fun to hang out with friends especially when you haven't hung out with them in a while you know yeah so yeah. It, it is finding that balance but the other stupid thing is there is no such thing as a perfect balance mm-hmm. it's just the fact of trying not to neglect specific areas in your life basically and sometimes it's very difficult to do that in certain times of your life yeah you got to figure out your schedule first of all am i ahead on schedule cool well then maybe i'm a little bit more open to hang out with friends now i'm not the one to be like lazy and just like hang out with friends all the time i wish i could but my schedule and my work life and stuff i can't do that so the other thing with work-life balance is uh not getting as much sleep as your friends that's that (laughs) that's for sure Mm -hmm. that's for sure yeah i have all these people that sleep until noon i'm like how do you sleep until noon? Yeah. Like, I, I, my brain can't even fathom that nowadays. It's just like all of this wasted time, <laughs> you know? That's true. It's just like, but that's how my brain works. It's like, you could have gotten so much done in that time. <laughs> that's where my, uh, my, the work man in me is trying to drive through, you know? Which isn't always good but i feel like most of the time it is good when it gets to the point where i'm like having mental breakdowns because i'm like overworking myself (laughs) that's a problem and more recently i i haven't had that problem which is good and i feel like i am a little more mentally stable than i was say like the beginning of this year when i was like just starting off with like two jobs and everything and trying to balance literally everything i have like a a large group of quote unquote friends yeah every once in a while one of them will hit me up to hang out um but when you multiply yeah. by like you know 30 40 people you keep projecting people to hang out and then word right. kind of gets around that you don't hang out and now i'm getting invited mm-hmm. to stuff you know much much less you feel kind of bad for blowing people off for you know this this kind of yeah. pipe dream you have mm-hmm. that might not even work out what i started saying more to people i need to do this more often than i'm doing now um is i've been you know telling people i'm at work instead of you know i'm doing youtube i'm at work right now definitely yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, and then it gets a lot more respect from them it's like oh okay it makes sense you know let's let's blow you off more like oh oh oh, yeah i guess you can't do anything because you're you know if you leave work your boss would be mad so that's if you think about like that too it's way better uh so that's something that i've been doing that's interesting i never thought of it like that that's a great way to put it honestly yeah yeah exactly Hmm. especially since you know once the semester school semester starts up it's kind of like uh you know if i got class you know you know the first Mm -hmm. half of the day the the rest of the day i can you know say i'm at work because everybody works after you know to pay for school they work i'm lucky enough that i don't have to work to pay for school uh, the other aspect to work-life balance is basically just don't slack off <laughs> don't just lay around all day and you know be a waste of space accomplishing nothing in your life watching the office i enjoy creating videos more than watching netflix you make the netflix <laughs> right one day make my own netflix show there also is a thing that is called the intricacies of internet friends what about that um i don't know i, I talk to internet friends a lot more <laughs> real life friends oh yeah kinda, i can relate to that yeah like, I don't know, I don't, I don't have a lot of people in, in, you know, that I know in real life that are on a YouTube grind too. And then you see people like Master ETH, like Mateo Toots, and you're like, oh boy, it's my people <laughs> on the YouTube grind yeah. life. Yeah, hopefully with this podcast, we can reach out to some more people who are, yeah. need that community life. Yeah, dude, honestly, we got, we got a decent amount of comments on the first episode, and a lot of people were relating yeah. with the creative struggles, which made me, 
really happy. It's like, oh, wow, that's cool that other other creative people are connecting with this. So that's really cool to, to yeah, see, definitely. That's why I hope with uh, yeah, micro contents, maybe, maybe on Gary Memes, we yeah. can reach a whole other audience and then mm-hmm. do a lot more interviews. Um, oh, I, do you ever feel like, uh, sorry, do you ever feel like, like you're working hard? But at the same time, you're not working hard. I have my I moments. Yeah. Like, especially when I'm on my phone. <laughs> Those are the yeah. moments where I'm like, what am I doing? Puts down phone. In episode three, I believe I mentioned about writing scripts in the car while my parents are driving. I, I, because I've, I've been working on scripts a lot more on my phone. Sometimes I go to my grandparents' house. Sometimes I'm, I'm going to admit this because this is the truth and this is honest and I don't want to admit it, but it's happened where I'll just be sitting on their couch writing a script on my phone instead of playing like cards with my grandparents. Once I realized that I was doing that, I needed to stop writing scripts right then and there and to spend time with my family. And so that's that's the other thing about this balance is like the other side to it where it's not work and it's spending time with, you know, especially family. That It kind of hit me because I'm like, am I being selfish? Because on one side, it's like, I'm getting work done. But on the other side, it feels like I'm being extremely selfish with my own time and not wanting to spend it with other people. Do you, do you, do you struggle with this too, exactly? Or, yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah. where it's like you're working in situations where it's like work doesn't need to be done here, but it could, but depending on the situation, it probably shouldn't. Every, every once in a while, when I, when I get invited to those, to a college party i'm like okay fine I'll, I'll i'll go say hi to my friends and stuff and then a lot of the time i usually just sit and and you know dm people and do youtube stuff which which i guess i don't know i shouldn't be doing i don't know I spend quality time with people but in terms of like family like oh because there's friends that you have to hang out with and there's family mm-hmm. which you kind of i guess really have to hang out with exactly um, yeah uh, i'm i'm in a place where i don't you know all my family lives like you know, across the ocean mm-hmm. so I don't, I don't hang with them as much as you do. It's such the, the most practical it's ever going to be in my life right now to be making videos. Right. And I'm still, you know, on a struggle life. Mm-hmm. And it's also going to be a struggle. You know, I fly back home. I'm going to, I'm going to finally come into your struggle of trying to make videos in a <laughs> pretty much a full house. <laughs> oh, so, that's always uh, fun. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. The early morning type stuff. Luckily, my room there just got furnished. Oh, wow. It, it was like for the first three years that, uh, since I lived here, it wasn't mm-hmm. furnished, but if it finally got some basic furniture in there, you know? Yeah. You know, like a desk so I can actually work in there instead of the living room. Mm-hmm. It was going to help off my focus a lot. Although the walls in, in Europe are made from stone. Mm-hmm. So Wi Fi signal is really bad <laughs> all throughout the house. Oh, yeah. So that's going to kind of suck, but, um, got to figure out a way, you know, yeah. to stay on the grind. Definitely. Another aspect with work-life balance is definitely the life part, and more specifically, uh, focusing on your health. I think neglecting your health is a very poor choice when it comes to, oh, I'm working hard, you know, could stop at McDonald's, you know, I mean, it's, it's convenient, it's right there. But I mean, realistically, it's like... You should be taking care of yourself. I know everybody kind of has their own perspective on like healthy and healthy eating and stuff. Make good health choices, basically. I'm not saying, hey, you're not allowed to eat ice cream ever. I'm just saying, hey, don't eat ice cream all the time. You know, kind of started meal prepping a little bit, you know, Mm -hmm. so I can eat. Yeah. Kind of healthy stuff throughout the week, but even that like runs out and i'm like stuck you know eating like yeah. rice for a couple of days or like ramen the, the, there's so many hours in a day but still like find the time the time just flies you know it's like dang. definitely yeah um, i mean i'm gonna be honest uh my the health side of my quote-unquote balance has been kind of low because i'm, I'm preparing for my trip which i'm leaving tomorrow mm-hmm. i didn't exercise hey, nice yeah i know i didn't exercise yesterday because i was like trying to get the video done and then i didn't exercise today because it's sunday and i don't exercise on sundays the reason i put that on hold which i don't do too often but sometimes some things have to take priority over others and though i am yeah. not proud in that it needs to get done and because yeah. of that i ended up getting like the wednesday video done and the friday podcast done for next week so i'm proud of that but yeah usually i'm good on like the health grind six days a week for about an hour lift weights ride my bike stretches 
push-ups, you know, yeah. it's, yeah, but like, I'm That's serious important. about that. So yeah, you know. Cause, so usually during the semester, you know, I got like classes in right. the afternoon mm-hmm. and, and morning and I'm like, might as well, you know, I usually get out in the beginning of the day. Yeah. But like during the summer, like there's nothing to keep me like grounded, like time wise, mm-hmm. like, like, you know, I'll do it in the afternoon, but then afternoon comes and it's like, oh, you know, yeah. it, it's, you know, it's already 10 PM. Might as well just do it tomorrow morning. And then, you know, right. tomorrow morning, you're like, okay, you know, I got some time during the day. First thing in the morning is always like, just get get, get out of the way, you know? Mm. There's also a mental part of it, yeah. Yeah, I was literally just about to mention that. The mental part, that's definitely an aspect that ties everything yeah. together. Because it's like, once yeah. your mental frame is out of whack, it seems like everything else just crumbles breakups can definitely take a toll on you mentally and you don't feel like doing anything except watching the entirety of the office and eating pop tarts at 2 a.m in the morning so you know it's it's not the best which is why you also need to take care of yourself mentally it's kind of weird how like when i exercise i know that's helped me mentally which is kind of strange because it's physical i know a shower after a long day of work really helps mentally to just kind of like wash all the stress Showers off the and best. just breathe. Yeah. I remember when I used to have like mental breakdowns like every two weeks and it was bad. Like I was in a deep dark place and it was not good, but I've gotten to a point where it's like, I'm used to this now. Yeah. It's not taking a toll on me mentally. I'm enjoying life and life is good. I feel like, like I can just spend literally days just 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 here right um, yeah. without even going outside and that's oh, that's same, not that's yeah. not good yeah it's yeah, not. yeah you said something earlier that brought something to, to my mind uh when i was on that youtube brand a year ago right mm-hmm. i was also in a relationship right oh wow okay i think like the first four months of that relationship like i took a hiatus from youtube i don't know why just just a oh was that hiatus. was that when that break hit yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. that, that okay. break. You remember that break? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, hmm. Yeah. So now I've like kind of like erred on the side of being single, you know? Cause it, it was bad, you know? I was like right, yeah. not spending time, time with her. Cause I was like, I'm on that YouTube grind. I got to edit. And she was like, oh, gee. Um, I guess getting a girl understands is, you know, good. But at the same time, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I was, I was pretty much neglecting her like bad yeah. because I was always, you know, busy with stuff. Yeah. So it's like a, so, you know, it's like a four months break. And that wasn't good because I wasn't happy then because I was like, right. man, <laughs> having a girlfriend sucks. I have no time <laughs> for my passion of YouTube. Uh, that is so a- that just made me kind of, you know, irritated with her all the time. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. ah, relationships are tough, dude. They on top can of be depending oh, on dang. the person. I, I was just like minding my own business, you know, making videos and all, you know, yeah. ha- having a ball, you know, started talking to this one girl. You know, I talked, started talking to her more and more, you know, became best friends. Then like a year later, it's like, she's now my girlfriend. Like she knows that I make videos. She knows like, this is my passion. And the amazing thing is like, she is so amazingly supportive and like cheers me on and everything that it, it like, I could cry over this because it's just like, like she, she has, like she understands me. Like she understands, like, this is what I love to do. And like, if I'm editing an up late, she's not like mad about that or anything. Like she knows that this is important to me. I'm I'm just so thankful for her. What I'm trying to say is like, be yourself, you know, don't, don't apologize for being yourself. And, you know, hopefully eventually somebody will come along and like support you in what you're doing. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. So that, that was a little, little honest moment. Because it, I know it relates to work life balance, the life part more so. Honesty but. hour. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Whew. But yeah I, yeah, I I like that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like mm-hmm. I think that's also why I've been like like not actively searching like random places. Exactly. For, like, a girlfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, it'll come like when you're on the grind, you know. Because if you're both relate well, like you're both you know doing your thing, and you cross paths, I feel like you know. Right. Yeah. Like let let's 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 move into the future for a second, Master Oh Ice. boy. The unforeseen future. So, All right. The unforeseen future. So, you know, uh, hopefully be doing that YouTube life. Uh-huh. If I have a good schedule and I guess this is the, not the perfect time to make work life balance like a thing mm-hmm. that I can like learn and ha- learn how to do it pretty much. Cause once, well, you know, once you're married and have kids, it's like, that's a whole no nother spoke to, to the wheel. Yeah, exactly. There's no time to be testing out things, you know, like you, you make, you, you be on your grind or your kids are going to starve, you know? Exactly. Kind of yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like this is, a, this now is a great time to test out and figure out 
how and and everybody works differently you know like everybody has different things they do to help and keep keep them accountable and stuff like Uh that i mean i would i would agree with that honestly that's like the dream isn't it thank you everybody for listening to episode five of creative minds where we talked about work-life balance this has been a very heartwarming episode i would have to admit thank you everybody for listening we will see you in two weeks remember Stay creative.